Welcome to the Black Men Think Podcast. If this is your first time here, know that the views and opinions expressed by the Black Men Think Podcast, are those of the Black Men Think Podcast and not the individual members. With that being said, we're about to be unapologetically, undeniably black. Enjoy. So yeah, man. Um, I just got one question. It's been on my it's been on my mind very deeply. I need I need y'all to answer it for me. Are we too old for skinny jeans? <laughs> How skimpy? I know, right? That's it. How skinny? <laughs> that, well, that's that's a, that's yes, a better that's question. Answer. How skinny? <laughs> me personally, they can't, be, they, they can't be too skinny. Even now, it's just like. Yeah, they can't be too skinny. Um, I mean, slim fit, yeah, that's fine. Hold but, up. Bro, have you ever owned a pair of skinny jeans? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I think they're called skinny jeans, or maybe no, they're bro. just slim. Maybe they're just they slim. slim. They yeah. slim. They definitely slim, yeah. bro. You too big for skinny jeans. No. Yeah, yeah, maybe, well, maybe not skinny, then. They're slim. They ain't getting no over your thigh, bro. Like, skinny Please jeans, don't. they get over your thigh. <laughs> looking hey, like, hey, look, looking look, like a I'll young T.D. Jakes. The only people in our crew that can get away with some skinny jeans bro, is, is Ace, Brian, and maybe Marlon. And, and probably Tori. Tori. But Tori, Tori. Tori's still kind of cut, too. Tori though, don't dress like that, though. Yeah, that ain't Tori thing. Uh, so Ace Ace really is probably the only person who can really... Uh, really I mean, A- Ace from 2015, maybe. <laughs> 2021 <laughs> Ace? No. They know. I mean, you got to... First of all, honestly, they're super uncomfortable, number one. Right, and then number two, they're fashionably a little dated. For yeah, they are getting there. And then three, I feel I feel like I'm just too old to be like trying. It, it, it almost makes me look older trying to look too young, because it's like a trend that has actually passed. So mm-hmm. uh, I kind of land on the side of like slim fitting, but I'm, right. I'm actually I'm actually starting to get a little baggier just naturally. But I feel like trends are going that way, and I like that trend because it's just more comfortable, bro. So. Yeah, you got, to, you got to get the slim fit with the um, the elastic material and like that stretch material. Um, yeah, they work a little bit better than just a regular. Were well, you talking you about to, elastic at the ankle or elastic? No, not, not elastic. Maybe not the waist elastic, and the thighs. Yeah, not elastic. Thighs, like it's yeah. just stretch, like stretch material. Oh, it's like a they, it's like a spandex, basically. What it basically, is? Basically, yeah, 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 yeah. They slim hey, fit, but they're stretch. Like they don't Keep feel like and things ain't been hitting the same lately, dog. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't been hitting the same lately, bro. They kind of, kind of tight down there, bro. No, but you also gotta wear them with like you gotta wear like mesh, like boxer shorts, like no cloth. Yeah. Nah, if, you, if, if those ones gonna ride up so far, bro, if you wore, <laughs> you gonna be. No, you, got, you, you gotta can... have, you gotta have the um, they be, like the spandex um drawers too, bro. Like the um, mm-hmm. that's, that's real. Like I forgot what they call, but you know what I'm saying. Like they yeah, the yeah. boxer briefs, but they just made like almost like workout um, shorts, right. or whatever. Like that material, that's yeah. your go-to, bro. That's the only thing. Because <laughs> like you say, everything goes, bro. Ain't gonna work out the way you want it to work. Ain't gonna work out. Uh... I mean, the reason why I ask these questions, bro, because you know we have our conversation in our group chat, and um, just trying to wrap our head around that that realization that we are getting older. Right. And even though we still look at each other and we still kind of sometimes can see the dudes that came into college at 18, 19 years old. The reality is, is that was like almost 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. You know, yeah. Um, But we still kind of we like to get fly. You know what I mean? So it's. It's just that trying to find that middle ground, you know what I mean? Um, and, and clothes, it, it tends to be one of those things that kind of do the separation. Like you, you can almost tell how old somebody is about what they might have on, right? <laughs> so yeah, I feel like there's, there's a way to age gracefully. I'm still trying to figure it out, but definitely I've been like thinking about it. Like some of the patterns, some of the vibes, I just kind of simplify some of the, like the color choices. Like you catch me in black a lot, I ain't gonna lie, because it's like you can't really mess safe. it up. Yeah, yeah, black is safe. I, I stay in black. So, uh, if, if I'm going with a louder color, it's gonna be like uh, a solid. You know what I'm saying? Just like little things like that. So, I mean, if you like young, you can probably get away with like some busy patterns with brighter colors. 
not to say you can't as the older person, but I feel like it just be looking goofy. Cause I'm, I'm tall too, so it just be looking goofy if you got on this like bright, colorful pattern Bro. thing. You know what I'm saying? So speaking of that, Ace. So I got on a um, I got on a hoodie that I purchased from my nephew. My nephew started a clothing line, right? And um, I told my wife, I was like, it just it got a lot of stuff on it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know I, I bought it to support but it's kind of just like I was like oh this ain't really for my demographic this is really for a younger you know what I'm saying like y'all can't see it but it got like you know it got design oh, here yeah. that's a design yeah. like right here but the yeah. back is like full of oh yeah. the back the so, back the back pad oh yeah which is why yeah you and it's just like oh, yeah he got that yeah yeah this is this is meant for somebody that's like 21 and under but you right. know, I'm like, I'm trying to be on the support. So I bought it and I just put a coat on. So it's like you can't see that I'm busy in the mm. back. Right. You know, you just only see a little bit of it. So you're you know, doing it right though. With the right. fatigue, yeah. you got the fatigue to kind of offset the earth busyness. Tone. That's yeah, earth tone yeah. color. You you in there. I, I feel you though. Yeah. Sometimes like those back patterns. I feel like, yeah, I mean, you see dudes like trying too hard. I mean, you want to preserve your I want to preserve my hip hop influence. So I'm always gonna try to lean into it. But I try to do it in a way where it's like it's not looking like an old dad or old uncle. I mean, sometimes it's just cause, cause I mean, even lately I'd be like, all right, you're gonna know, you're gonna know I'm in hip hop, but you're not gonna, I'm not gonna like try to like keep up with the youngness. Cause yeah. they just young for a reason, bro. And they're gonna do it differently. So I just try to embrace it. Like I let my salt and pepper, my beer kind of come in. Um, you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, yeah, yeah like, got you know, braids kicking. I might, I might tuck my shirt in sometimes. So it's got the little, the little like preppy, but you know, like casual, but still street vibe. I may do that on a whim, you know what I'm saying? But 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 realistically, yeah. it's like this day and time, it's really no code to fashion. Like it's it's not about matching or this because people just wear whatever they want to wear. To be honest, people yeah. make up their own little style and they just flow with it. Sometimes yeah, it gets on as a trend. Sometimes it doesn't. Just like the like what JD got on now is like. Uh, you see that a lot, a hoodie and a jacket on top of a hoodie. Like years ago, it's like, why am I, I can wear the jacket another day and wear a hoodie today and wear the jacket another day. But now you see it like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's a you thing. Know. That, um, that's the beauty of it. You know, you can just rock whatever you want to rock and be cool with it. Right. For me, it's, it's all about like, you don't want to look too old. Right, mm -hmm. but you you also want to communicate that like I could still I could still rock it with y'all, you know, like yeah. younger people, like you know, because I mean, ironically, and I think I've probably said this on the podcast before, but like I find myself now even around my staff and all that stuff, like I'm the old guy, you know, I'm just 36, but but I am the old guy, so yeah, right. I want my fashion to be able to communicate like I'm still relatable, but at the same time, like I'm 36, like there's certain things I won't wear certain brands that I don't need to wear anymore, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and it's, it's certain articles of clothing that I want to rock to say like, hey, you know, I can, I can, like, I can afford this now. You know, I can, yeah. and I'm not, not saying like externally for somebody else, but just even for me, even for my right. own I, bit of bit, like I can look myself yeah, Make yourself feel good, With bro. some dignity, like, bro, <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> I ain't wearing these same brands that I was wearing when I was 20 anymore. Right, you know, like, like I, I work for this. I can, you know, I deserve to wear this. Right, right, right. You, I mean, we know you retired the Reebok Classic too. I mean, too. <laughs> I mean, you know, you use some things you just don't worry about. So I get it, man. I get it. I mean, like, like shout yeah. out Kanye with his infamous line, uh, "Rock Forever 21," but just turn 30. You know what I'm saying? Like that, as in that's that was like a signal, like. And maybe I shouldn't be. I'm. I'm. You know. Once I'm 36 now, I'm like maybe you should. I shouldn't be buying from forever 20, 21 at 31, yeah. 30. Yeah. Like yeah. You know, H&M. You know. It's like, yeah. yeah. I mean, so they fits are so tight, and like, yeah. is it? And, and it's like ah, uh, maybe I maybe I go to Banana Republic and get me so. You right. know, what I'm saying maybe it's okay. You know. Yeah, you got to switch it up a little bit. So, uh, I I know for me, I'm still like I'm I'm really I I just like hoodies. I'm a hoodie guy, but um. I like joggers too. I like, it's really, I think that's the thing. The older you get, it's more about being comfortable. Mm, it's right. more so about being yeah. comfortable. Like the fashion part is there. Like, I mean, we grew up in, in the hip hop era, bro. So you, I'm going to wear like, you know, 
tennis shoes, bro. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm, a, I'm gonna wear sneakers. Like yeah. it's, it, it, like you can't get me to stop wearing sneakers. Do I have boots? Yeah, absolutely. But I'm gonna have on my sneakers are gonna be my go-to. You know, I love Harachis and Blazer mid. So mm. that's what you're gonna mm. catch me in for the most part. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think that's gonna ever leave me. I can see myself being 50 and still loving sneakers. You know what I mean? Right. But Right. The hoodie. At some point, I'm probably gonna have to let the hoodie go. I don't no, know. I, I think the hoodie. The hoodie. The hoodie. So. I don't think the hoodie. The hoodie's good. I mean, sometimes I be feeling like I look a little too young, though. And, and maybe it's just my, you know, where I'm at too, though, because I'm like most said in a uh, lot of circles, I am the older guy. But a lot of people, when I tell them how old I am, they're like, "Bro, you 36." I was like, "Yeah, I'm 36." And I was like, "Man, I thought you was like 31." Like, you know. I'm getting younger because of how I might dress. I don't dress like a, I'm old, you know what I'm saying? But at but the same time, ball too. you got the ball but yeah, too. Yeah, I am, I am bald. I yeah. am bald and you know, I got the beard that got some grays in it. So you kind of get that, but you know, I don't know, man. I love my hoodies though. That, that's... Will, you, will y'all will dye y'all's hair? Nah. 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 <laughs> oh, you mean like just black? I thought you mean like with some D-Wade stuff or something. No, like, oh, like, like, yeah. Well, would you guys match y'all gray? And that's a better question. Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm I waiting a, on these jokes to keep coming through, yeah. bro. I'm ready for the salt and pepper. I got, I, I got, when, I got when, like three. Hey, women like that salt and pepper. Well, I mean, I, y'all white, y'all white is like that salt and pepper. Man. Yes, <laughs> Corey, are you somebody's right. daddy? It's okay. <laughs> Corey, somebody's daddy. Let's <laughs> say that for the. You know, I, I probably got about the, two of the reveal. <laughs> <laughs> you got about two or three grays, bro. Yeah, in the big, yeah. I got a couple oh. of my hair. Like, yo, you know, I got some grays, bro. I pluck them here, here and there. I kind of, I kind of like. Them? I kind of let them flow. I let them I'll flow. Yeah. All of them, but like, I, I might take like yeah. you know, like some of the ones that's kind of wild. Yo, I might pull them out. You know what's what funny is, like, I had this dude in my old church. Um, it's funny when you see like an older gentleman who's like pushing sixty, and they just dye that hair jet black, bro. Jet black. Bro. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> We know, bro. We know that's not. We know. We, we, know we know. We know. Like just, let I'm it all out. for it, bro. Yeah, I say embrace I mean, it. Even though I shave my head, like my hair still still grows. I got like a, where I thin in in one spot. But honestly, bro, I would love for my joint to just like stop growing because I'm at that point to where <laughs> I gotta go. I have to cut it. You know what I'm saying? Because where it's thin and it's too. It's too much thin. Like if I look down, you kind of see it's bald right here at this spot, bro. So I'm like, yeah, just go ahead. I don't need any hair. I want it to just stay bald, but it don't work like that. I still got to shave my head every every other day, or not. I come mm-hmm. out here with the cul de sac ultra, the ultra cul de sac. Where those people? Uh, now, y'all don't y'all don't go to the barber and get the little uh, the little spray in. You no, know nah, bro. The baby. Beijing, bro. Yo, well, I will say this though. Um, when I seen Diddy in person, my man had the Beijing hairline, bro. For real? At 50. Yeah, no care. Because I was like up close and I said, I was like, yo. <laughs> it just it, 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 it so back to the conversation about getting old. It was like, okay, here lies a brother with all the money in the world, and he's still fighting to embrace the age mm. that we all have to oh, embrace. That's like, a, that you bring up a good point it's, though, Ace. And that mm-hmm. brings up a good point because that's something that even though we're joking about it and we're friends and we can joke about it amongst each other, but that's that's a real deal issue though, because we're in our mid-30s and we, we're reaching that point of like, you know, we might have like four or five grades. But what about those people? And, and I tell you a part where we really realized it is when we um when the pandemic first hit and everybody was stuck in, in the house. And so you started mm-hmm. seeing celebrities and things come out. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know this person had this much gray hair or this, you yep. know, like DJ Khaled and all, yeah. even Kevin Hart, like yeah. all of these areas full of gray. You're like, oh no, people really out here dying and stuff. So, and I know that they're in the world of entertainment where they're supposed to look a certain type of way, but the reality yeah. is we can walk outside right now and it's plenty of dudes doing the same thing and they like 40s and 50s trying to, take 10 years off their life in, in a sense or like look younger um what do y'all think that is like what what causes that what what is the our real reason for trying to achieve like a younger look i mean practically 
first thing I can think about is you trying to stay away from death or like, you know, that, mm. that, mm. that age that makes you feel like, man, I'm getting close, you know? Yeah. I mean, we, we had an episode, you know, once talking about how, how much older we are and like, you know, now we have to think about our parents getting older right. and that oh, type yeah. of thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's just like, even just for, you know, an individual, you know, you're like, you're trying to stay within this safe range of life expectancy, I think. I think it has mm -hmm. a lot to do with it, especially as you get older, as your kids grow up. Yeah, as, that's real. You know, you start counting in teens and 20s in your marriage years and stuff. You're like, dang, like, we're getting up there. You right. Know? So, I mean, I think that's that's probably one thing. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, it's also insecurity. I mean, it's, yeah. you know, which is, I mean, look, we all have our little insecurities about how we look, the physical appearance. So it's like, I, I'm not gonna knock the person that's trying to dye their hair black. I mean, cause I could be doing something else on, in, in another way, but I've I just learned to just embrace the age because it's inevitable. Ain't nobody getting younger. Yeah. We all getting older. So <laughs> all getting older. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's the way I feel, man. It's like the dye, the whatever. I mean, if you start going bald, man, just cut it off. I mean, that's the <laughs> <laughs> For real, bro. Katie, Katie, Katie LeBron, LeBron. <laughs> like, bro, just let it go. I mean, if you want to hold on to it, then hey, hold on to it. But I remember I was in a barber shop some years ago, bro, and I, man, I would, you would think this barber was um, um, doing an air spray to a um, shirt. It was somebody's head, bro. <laughs> Dude was, <laughs> bro, it was clean when he was done, though. Bro, I had the air spray kit and everything. I don't even know how much that costs. I didn't even see that on the, the bar. Honestly, see, my mm -hmm. thing is do that in the back somewhere. Don't have me all out on display in the middle of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, he got to show off his skills, though. How the other customers going to see, man, you bro. can do that? Like, and so, uh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, here's, here's a good question. Bro. No, no, uh, with, the, with that stuff, though, when you get home, like first time you take a shower, I'm like what happened? It's a wrap, bro. Oh, it's you, for you the gotta day. Have black, you gotta have black pillowcases because it's like, bro, it's gonna be all over the. <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Think about all the work you gotta put in, bro. I gotta make sure if I if I go out, I'm gonna sweat. If I, you know, it, bro, it just it's just too much, bro. Yeah, you know, I, I'm just thinking about the most awkward phase when you like it's you're, you're in somewhere, your head sweating at a concert or something with a with a stick hey, or something, right. and just right. dripping all down. <laughs> but cats getting hair pieces. Um, um, guys getting hair pieces these days, man. I've been, I've been seeing. I've been seeing. No, it's different. That's, bro. that's like, I've seen that's dudes go too, from. Bro, but hey, do you? You know, whatever floats your boat. Hey, dude, I've seen dudes go out. from ball to braids, bro. <laughs> what? That's a from that's, a, that, that's an album braids, title right there. That's a, that's a song title or something right there. That's bro, a T-shirt, bro. From bald to braids, bro. That's wild. One visit to the barbershop. Like they getting they they getting hair paste on, glued on, and then once they do that, it's like a fro. And then they go in there, either get it braided, <laughs> <laughs> they getting plaits. I'm like, bro, what is going bro, on? How can I say I don't know, bro? I'm like, what? when a woman find out, well, I mean, it's, you know, for me, if a woman, I got you know fake hair. And, and it's just like when she find out what she gonna think. Like, I mean, honestly, oh, whoa, you whoa, probably whoa, gonna whoa, be whoa. with a girl who has weight, who has weeds. <laughs> but but it's different good. though. But you you kind of expect nah, that, like, nah. You, I'd be like, look, baby girl, walk. look look at your hair. We in this together. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, a woman can do that. But a man, like, you got like a full hair piece. Yeah, it's, bro, it's 2021, bro. <laughs> tell, tell, I know bro. equality, bro. We can a man to leave his. Wife, his husband, and weave, weave and clean, weave and clean together. <laughs> stupid, uh. Yeah, but you know, hey, do what I'm supposed to vote, bro. I can't knock it, man. It's just not for no. me. Let's just say it's awkward. I've seen, I've seen dudes get beards, like when beards would start, like trending heavy. Mm -hmm. I've seen dudes getting fake beards put on. Yeah, I seen his dad give his son a fake beard the other day. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Like seven, dog. Yeah, <laughs> he had a beard like Jay. <laughs> I saw that. Look he said like, he bro, said something about he make dreams old. come true or something like that. Yeah, he was tight, dog. He was tight. No, like, yeah, yo, was low key, tight. Luke would love that for his birthday. I ain't gonna lie. For real. He was, he like always, dad, right? He he loves like I'm when I'm he always asks me when I'm gonna get my beer. I'm like, son, you got a long way to go. But <laughs> if you like you, you gonna have one in sixth grade. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, actually, actually, I, Team Wolf <laughs> over there. <laughs> Yo, I mean, I had chest, I had chest hair in middle school, bro. So, <laughs> it's real out here.
No, that's what's up, man. Your son asking about his beard. That'll be dope to do it just to see what how uh, your wife. <laughs> I surprise her. You should just do it. I should surprise her. Yeah, I should do it. But yeah, like, just yeah. surprise him. Surprise her and just come home one day. She's going to be like, what did you do to my child? <laughs> yeah, that would be hilarious. I wish I could put one on Joshua, bro. That'd be like Benjamin crazy. Button over there. <laughs> no. Will you do that? Please record that, bro. I'm, I'm, oh, oh, that's good. That, that is something why I will exploit my kids on Instagram for. Just for the viral <laughs> fun. Normally, I'm yeah. kind of like, that would just be the, this, this, the fun of that. I might do that. But well, that would be that classic. Would be funny. Oh man, that's classic. <laughs> that ain't got me thinking. Oh, so you, so, so, so if you can really do it at that young, at that young, I'm just I'm being not like, just, I'm, I'm literally thinking about it. No, they just putting um what is like it? I mean, so for example, you know how like when you go to the barbershop and they got they collecting all the hair, it's the same thing, like they do like a um uh, it's an adhesive that they do to put hair. So they so imagine like how my beard is. Imagine if I just had a bunch of hair and I just Put it here and, and put the adhesive there, Hold up. and then they but just line hair it. Up. Is it? It's yeah. fake hair, right? I mean, it's I don't know how they're doing it at the barbershop, but like when the videos that I've seen do it, yeah. first thing that they do is they draw out where the beard is gonna be, so they do up <laughs> like a whole line what? of like how I got my joint, and then they get hair and they they use the adhesive, like they put it, they paint the adhesive in the place where they drew out the beard, and then they put hair and glue it to oh, your oh, face. Oh, time out. Do they use gorilla glue to put it on? <laughs> Stuck, right? But I ain't putting nobody else's hair on my chin, dog. I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't use see. my own. I use my own hair. Like I cut my hair. Let my son do my, my hair. That's okay, how we there do you it. go. Yeah, and he, yeah. you know, he's small, so he don't take that much hair to yeah, do his yeah, thing. Yeah. Yo, y'all really got me thinking. Y'all, y'all like, got me hot on. I'm like, bro, you gonna be bald though? Like, yeah, you might want to get some fake hair because, like, for him to get a full beard. No, oh, but Ace got a full like. I mean, like, honestly, full, I guess it's rising. My family, my dad still got all his hair, bro. He likes pushing seventy, bro. It's just got it's, good genes. Yeah, no, but it's, my dad but it's got all great all too. But it, it didn't work out like that for me. This must be <laughs> on my mama's side. <laughs> yeah, it's just how it's how. Well, I how thought, hey, I thought I was gonna be uh, out here with with a nice little full hair. Oh, yeah. Hey. you mean with that with that Mr. Goodman, uh, Mr. Goodman Soul Glow popping off? You thought he's gonna have that? I mean, I'm doing enjoy. okay over here. We ain't back here yet. It's starting to thin a little bit though in certain areas, but you know. Mo, yeah, but you used to you used to have you used to wear your hair ball though, right? Or low. I just wore it real low, bro. Like I don't yeah, even I was just, you know, trying to go and cheat for real. Yeah. Keep, keep it cheap. Go and say skin aside. You know. Skin aside. <laughs> trying to keep them going back to the barbershop every two weeks. I feel I you, I thought I, I just thought that John was um going back. Yeah. So I got a question, fellas with kids. How do you think your kids, as they get older, will influence your the way you dress? Like, because you know, mm, sometimes kids, kind of, sometimes you see like kids um, that kind of keep their parent. Well, you know, their dad, mainly their dad. You know, kids with dad, or maybe, maybe it's the son that keeping the dad like you know in tune with fashion. How do you think that plays a uh, the kids play a part in that? influencing the parents. No, Nadine always tell me, my wife, she always tell me, like, you gonna be that that old dad that's still out there trying to hang out with the kids and, and dance <laughs> and all this kind of stuff. I probably am, dog. Like, I'm, yes, probably gonna be yes. that, I'm, I'm probably gonna be that guy, like the one that, you know, I wanna be the cool dad or I'm looked at as the goofy dad because I'm trying to be the cool dad. Yeah. You know, so I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm probably gonna be trying to like, you know, copy some of my, my boys' fashion or something here and there. I'll yeah. Probably... Yeah. No, I can see that. I mean, I got two girls, bro. So, um, but I already know, like, you see, for me, I got two girls and I'm not shying away from having two girls, but like, I, I, I treat them like <laughs> sometimes we might be playing basketball and I might just like sauce them and hit them in the head. With them. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm saying Tumble. like, because, you know, <laughs> it, it, it all jokes aside, the reason why I do that is because I had a conversation one time just like, yeah, I don't have, I don't have sons, but I was like, I can still, I, I think my wife was saying like, but you can still do the same thing you do with a son with your daughters. And it's like, right. you know, that's the truth. Like, okay, women Crazy. play basketball, like women play, you know, I don't have to feel like I have to do things just for a boy. Like if we... Yeah want to go and play golf, go and play golf. If we want to, 
you know, do whatever, we can do whatever, you know, when it comes to sports. And even just outside of sports, anything, it's just like, no, I, these are my children. Yeah. We have fun. So um, would they influence me? Absolutely. You know, I don't know, you know, for me, I got two young daughters, so I don't know what that's going to look like, you know, 20 years from now. But, you know, I, I'll be interested to see. I know I'm still going to have my, my sneakers on, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know what what fashion gonna look like in 20 years bro like <laughs> they might be on something different i might just come in there with my levi's on and, and right. um and a t-shirt and a hoodie Man, and then funny. call it a day <laughs> right uh, yeah that's man a good we'll, that's a good question i mean we'll see man yeah I, i'm probably gonna be like mo i'm probably gonna be trying to do too much and try to be all up in the mix you know what i'm saying the <laughs> latest songs whatever they doing what y'all what y'all on put right. me on like and that's just okay <laughs> I, i'm okay with that man so but you know something too, though, Ace? We're also in, in that space to where, and, and maybe this is more so for the people that became fathers like maybe 10 years ago. We're in that space of where the kids are and, and the adults are literally growing up on the same type of music, right? Mm -hmm. Like, so yeah. we all love, oh, yeah. like we hip hop <clears throat> heads, we all love hip hop. You know, the kids are growing up on the same thing. And, and so, like I said, for people that may have had kids, you know, in their 20s, right now like the kids are going to be doing the same thing that you pretty much doing like they gonna be wearing sneakers they gonna like you know dressing in whatever they dressing like y'all pretty much growing up almost very similar for us it's a little bit different because we had kids in our 30s so i'm interested to see how that dynamic is going to be but yeah. um i'm sure you know kids kind of do the same thing we do bro like yeah they're just gonna true. be rocking some things that we might not be agreeing with but for the most part, it's all it's gonna be the same. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's interesting. I, ten years from now, I'm just like, well, that that that'll be it before we know it, and it, it just kind of hit me like, oh man, look, right around cool. the corner, bro. Cause we, I mean, we ain't had that experience though. Like, you know, we came up. Shoot, my dad would do you remember? You know, he had the EWF mm -hmm. playing. You know, what I'm saying my mom playing Anita Baker. You know, it ain't like we was listening to the same station. Like, I had to put my dad on stuff. I used to lie to him. Tell him Erica Badu was a, was a believer. She was a Christian. Just singing about, uh, she's singing she's, about she's, the Creator. She's spiritual now, but it ain't. It ain't you know, no spirits. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bone thugs. I was like, look, they got crosses. Like it's crosses on the cover. Oh yeah, you used, I, you, you used to go in, but yeah, Rich is wild. I mean, you know, I had to, I had to yeah. do what I had to do. But yeah, we all had older parents for the most part. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, you know, we we didn't have to really. I mean, my dad, my dad do production and stuff, so maybe that's that was more so out of a connection like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, now my dad don't dress young. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and, and I think your dad mainly always dressed up. Like your dad, Mo yeah. is always pretty much he'd like a clean. suit and tie. Yeah, he be clean, clean though, Mister Montgomery. Mister Montgomery yeah. be clean always. <laughs> always shot. Yeah, I'm interested to see it though, bro. I already know it's gonna be. I know I'm gonna be right there in the mix too, though. Like it just as a dad, just like no, nah, I, I I'm gonna be there. Question though, you you cause you you mentioned like us coming up in that era where you know the young ones are listening to the same hip hop that we listening to. Yeah, do y'all ever feel like the hip hop of today is like? Eh. It might be a little, see, see, a little my, much. My, I, I, I didn't want to go there. So really, the youngest are not, we're listening to the same genre, but definitely different subsets of the genre. Like, like ain't, ain't nobody under 25 listening to that Judas uh, and Messiah project. True. So, well, like, the second half, maybe. I was going to say, second like, half, maybe the back second half. half. Yeah. Maybe Lil TJ and them, maybe, yeah, maybe. ASAP. Yeah, ACF. ASAP, probably even not, probably. But like, yeah, I think it's just, then the kids on TikTok, man, they doing like dances and like they dancing. But we were dancing yeah. too, though. We it's, it's just a different. The medium is yeah. different, bro. We were yeah, doing yeah. Superman. You know what I'm saying? Like we were yeah. dancing, we were ticking, we were we were definitely dancing. But it's just the medium is different. They're doing it yeah. through the phone. We didn't have the phone to do it through. You know what I'm saying? So it's still it's all the same, bro. This stuff is cyclical. It happens. Whatever we used to do, like think about it. When we were in college, jerseys were a big deal. Jerseys are starting to come back around again. Like, yeah, I don't think we're gonna ever wear our clothes as big as we used to wear them. I don't know. We might get there. Back, might, uh, a little, a little bit. A, a little bit. We actually coming back there. A little Slick bit. Slick coming back. Yep. I, I can't. 
I, yeah, yeah. I, I can't go back there. That's gonna that's gonna be where we <laughs> differentiate ourselves. Like they gonna know how old we are, bro. Because that's I can't go back to like wearing a size forty four when I wear a size thirty eight. That's just all, bro. Bro, like, I can size clothes, bro. bro. Like for real, used to wear XLs, like bro, with a size thirty two waist, like small, bro, baggy. Just I mean, yeah. it was an era. Those time. pictures look ridiculous. You go back and look Crazy. at that, man. Like, ridiculous, bro. Jersey's down to your knees almost. Can't yeah. even wear your jersey anymore. White teams. All, them. all them jerseys, bro. You can't do nothing with them. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, over man. with. I still got my Mike Vick joint, but I ain't worn that joint in years. Let me get that the Ray Allen jersey. Ain't jersey. Huge, bro. I sold it. Oh, sold you did? It. The Ray Allen, um, the Bucks. Milwaukee Bucks. Yeah, I sold it. Right? Hey, I didn't know that, man. I made some money off of it too. I think I sold it for like 80, 80 or ninety bucks. Okay. And I think I got that from like Ross for like yeah, ten dollars, ten. Like it wasn't much, you know what I'm saying? So it, I definitely made some off of it. But yeah, it was. I man, I was gonna keep it, but I put it on and look in the mirror. All that, bro. It, it legit looked like I got on the dress right now. Like what? Like <laughs> what I'm gonna do with this? It ain't signed. Like, like I got rid of it. Just going through trying All to clean the problem. That was crazy, man. All T's, yeah. bro. Yeah. Moral of the story, though, Black Thought. Um, I think I think we could we can always be ourselves, honestly, but be okay to uh, be ready to embrace for change. Um, I think it's important, but we got to find some kind of middle ground, bro. We can't be out here looking too crazy. <laughs> at some point you just gonna have to you know you gotta grow up at some point like i don't think we should as grown men be out here in um super skinny jeans it's just it, it don't make sense bro like where are the jeans that are meant for you slim straight bro like <laughs> hey you gotta be you gotta be tall and like slim to wear, to skinny, wear slim. Jeans. skinny jeans yeah. like they they not yeah. meant for the average person. Like, you yeah. got to be a small person, bro. It depends yeah. on the way you shop, too. Like, right. you know, like, I mean, cheaper jeans and or, you know, sale jeans, young jeans, sometimes they really, they don't fit grown men anymore. I'm yeah. saying this from experience. Right. <laughs> so you got to find your size, bro. <laughs> I thought I had it, bro. They ain't hitting the same no more. I'm telling you. No, you got you at that age where you got to go and try on everything. You just can't walk in the I store know. and get it and then come back home. You got to go, go, go into the fitness room. And it's hard to do in a pandemic, but listen. I'm to start. You got to go in the fitting room and be like, hold up, bro. <laughs> no, these ain't me, bro. I need an exercise up. <laughs> these ain't hit. These ain't hit the way they supposed to. <laughs> All right, man. Well, look, make sure y'all rate, subscribe, and... Um, Tell a friend, tell a friend. We're on YouTube now also, so um, make sure y'all follow us over there if y'all want to see the visuals and not just hear us. Um, and we haven't did a clubhouse room in a minute. We, we'll get back about to time. it. It's, it's about time. time. We'll get back on it. We'll get back on it and have one of our open conversations on clubhouse. But make sure y'all follow us, uh, blackmanthink.com for everything. And um, we'll see y'all next week. The Black Black Men Men Think Think Podcast. Podcast.